From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Inside Politics. Hello, everyone. I'm News Channel 5's political analyst, Pat Nolan. Welcome to Inside Politics. Today on Inside Politics, our guest is a man who I think is the most fascinating figure in Tennessee history over the last half century. <laughs> That's been true whether he was seeking the state's highest political offices but coming up short, or whether he was making or losing large fortunes in the world of business. Our guest has also been a fascinating legal crusader, an activist willing to speak truth to power and to challenge what he thought were abuses of power. Even when he lost those cases, though, he never forgotten who he was. And who he is is John J. Hooker. John Jay, thanks for coming on the show. No, you, you know, can't do it. I'm, you, I'm delighted. You are my first Tennessee political hero. We worked together here at Channel 5 many years ago when I was the reporter and you were the political analyst. Thanks for coming back on the show. Well, I've been delighted, now, to say the least. Now, your latest challenge, and you say it's your last challenge, perhaps, is seeking a way for Tennesseans to be able to die with dignity. Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean that uh, the law in Tennessee is that... that uh, uh, that you ha cannot take your own life even with the assistance of a doctor uh, and even when it's well known that you're going to die and I have unfortunately drawn the joker and I've been informed that I have six months maybe a year and that uh, starting some new uh, experimental medication and we'll see where that goes now but other states have similar laws there's some cases they're called the right to die some are called physician physician aided suicide are, are you comfortable with those right either titles way for the, bill? the right to die or, 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 or death with dignity this assisted assisted death any of those uh, terms now in some states or in some areas people sort of harken back to dr jack kevorkian from up in michigan and all right. of the things that went on right. with that, some of which were rather strange right. is, is that a problem when you start talking to people about uh, death? With not dignity? so much anymore uh, the, though the tennessee law emanated from kevorkian which was passed in uh, 93 and it was as a consequence of his conduct and he had gone around and facilitated people in death sometimes without uh, sufficient documentation or the family or whatever and he had lost his medical license and and so there was this law passed in tennessee that says that no person may assist another person in 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 their death and in your bill if it passes it would allow a physician to do that it would allow assisted uh, 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 a doctor to facilitate you uh, as long, long as you and your family agreed doctor facilitates you and you have to sign documents to say that yes to sign it? documents that sort of thing now the prime sponsor of your bill in the house is the minority leader Democrat yeah. Craig Fitzhugh right now, he was on the show in your in your, in your very seat last week and he right. told me that he has grave he had some grave religious right. misgivings about right. this but that you've been working on it what have you been telling him well I think it's not more than me working on him I think that that the polls show the polls show for example uh, Gallup says 69% says of the American people, 69% believe in, in assisted living, assisted death, 69%. We just did a poll here, the Vanderbilt uh, came out this week, it shows that 65% of the people in Tennessee uh, agree with assisted living. Only 31% say that you should not be able to do that under any circumstances. So it's growing uh, by leaps and bounds uh, uh, that people realize, people are getting older, People have these death sentences uh, uh, that they know they're going to die, and and what's what's the point of, of keeping somebody lingering in this moment of death? Uh, of families, uh, we got tears in their eyes. A patient is a is a prisoner in their own bed, uh, and so my view is that that the government has no right to tell you that you cannot die if you want to under certain circumstances. The bill got sent off to a summer study committee before right. the legislature left town. Now, normally going to a summer study committee is a death sentence for death that sentence, legislation. Right. But when I talk to the leaders up on the Hill, they seem to not say, they say not no, I necessarily. Think not. I really it think seems to be something they're actually uh, I think they're really serious year. about this. And all the, t uh, 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 Pat, in all the 60 years that I've been fooling with politics, one way or another, winning and losing, in and out, but always continuing, uh, I've never had as many people uh, talk to me about the, any subject as this subject. People uh, come up to me and say, well, I hear that you are uh, uh, ill and that your life tenure is not going to be much longer. And that conversation takes about 10 seconds. I say, yeah, that's too bad. That's a fact. And then they say, let me tell you about my grandfather or let me tell you about my father or let me tell you about this. And so I'm just astonished at the energy there is among the electorate to do something about this. It's out there. Tennessee's a very conservative state. You'll need 50 votes in the House, 17 in the Senate. 
a lot of those people are Republicans. The Republicans have super majorities in both houses. You're a well-known, established Democrat. When you go to talk to lawmakers, is your identity as a, Repu a Democrat a problem for Republicans to want to support your bill? You know, there's something about people knowing you're going to die that makes them nicer to you. <laughs> and, and politics kind of goes out the window. If a fellow looks you in the eye and he knows that you're under some sort of death sentence and that he someday will be under the same death sentence, uh, that you cut across the politics pretty quick and get right down to one human being to another. And I have found people to be terrifically courteous about this and thoughtful. And you'd be surprised at how few people have told me that they really have a religious conviction about it. You know, that Jesus Christ never discussed this subject. And there are only eight real discussions in the Bible about, uh, about this sort of thing. And so there's not a lot of biblical uh, uh, ammunition against it. That more, uh, People talk about the proposition that there's a religious uh, uh, rejection of it. But I haven't found that to be the truth. Now, I may be getting the cart before the horse, but if you get this bill through both houses of the legislature, then you have to get Governor Haslam to either sign it or let it go into law without his right. signature. Have you spoken to the governor? I'm not, you but, on him? I, I, but I'm, I plan to, but I haven't done so yet. I, I don't want to be presumptuous about it. But he and I have one thing in common. I used to be rich like him, but not anymore. He's still rich. I'm not. But he's going, like me, he will die. And I will die. And so he, uh, he'll address this question at some point in the in, in, a, in a context of the, uh, what's the human right decent thing to do. It's barbaric to tell somebody that has got uh, a malignancy of the, uh, and who's lying there dying and in pain that they can't uh, check out of this hotel. And, and I agree that you, that you sh should have a doctor to to advise about that, maybe two, that's fine. But if the doctor says, look, uh, uh, he should be able to go, he should be able to go. And we have so many prominent people who linger too long. Sigenthaler, for example, no more prominent person in Nashville than John Sigenthaler. He lingered a long time. And, and uh, I, I think it would have been better off if, if he had been the beneficiary of the death with dignity. John J. Hooker is our guest. We are talking about death with dignity and we'll talk more about John J. Hooker's general life and times both in politics and across in other various things here in Tennessee. Back to continue our conversation after this break.